Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Malka and in this video I will share with you the best chocolate swirl bread recipe from our friend Chesky who is a master baker. His chocolate babka recipe is easy and it can be done with a mixer or by hand. I will also include all his tips, tricks and hacks to have an amazing babka in no time. Be sure to stay until the end where he shares his number one secret to have your chocolate swirl bread stay moist and delicious. And if you like this kind of content all about simplifying the Jewish life, please consider subscribing. So let's jump into it. We're going to start by proofing the yeast using half a cup of lukewarm water, a teaspoon of sugar as well as one tablespoon of yeast. We're going to mix it and set it aside. In a mixer or a bowl, we're going to mix 4.5 cups of sifted flours, a third of a cup of regular white sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of cinnamon. For the wet ingredients, mix 3 quarter cup of melted margarine with half a cup of any plant-based milk. Start your mixer on low while adding the proof yeast little by little. Then add the margarine and milk mixture and finally add your room temperature eggs one by one and don't forget to check them beforehand for blood spots. Continue mixing the dough for about 3 to 4 minutes until it form a consistent ball. Once that this consistency has been reached, increase the speed of the mixer to medium high for about 5 to 10 minutes and I will show you the different stages of the dough during that time. When we try to stretch the dough at this point, we see that it breaks very easily. After 5 minutes of kneading, we're going to see that the side of the bowl is starting to be a bit more tacky and also that the dough is starting to be stretchier. After 8 minutes of kneading, we can see that the side of the bowl shows more and more residue, but the dough is getting really luxurious and shiny and much more stretchable. After 10 minutes of kneading, we can see that the sides of the bowl are really full of residue and we look at this dough and it's so stretchy. It's amazing, it's also so much more shiny, so we're finally ready to transfer it to a bowl Cover it with a saran wrap and leave it for one to two hours until it doubles in size. Depending on the size of your pan and the look you're going for, this dough will yield about three loaf pan size babka. Separate the dough in the amount of babka you want. I like weighing my dough for even baking time. While you're working on one piece of the dough, put the other pieces back in the bowl and cover them with saran wrap. Roll the dough to form roughly a rectangle about an eighth of an inch thick. The chocolate filling recipe will be in the description box below, but you can definitely use some store-bought chocolate spread. It will be as good. Spread the chocolate filling or the chocolate spread generously across the dough, leaving a bit of the edges free for the fold and roll process to be easier later on. When I see chocolate that close and personal, I really have an urge for it. If you're like me, write chocolate in the comments below. Fold the edge of the long side of the dough onto itself, forming a small lip. Then roll the dough as equally as you can. I usually use the side of my fingers to cover a larger surface to roll at the same time. Once that you have reached the end of your dough and you have a log, make sure that the seam is at the bottom of the log. Leaving the top edge of the log together, we are going to take a knife and separate the log in two. We're going to twist together the two branches of the log, making sure to expose fully the chocolate inside for maximum effect. Once that the twisting is completed, we're going to cut the upper edge that was there to help us hold the dough together. At this point, your chocolate swirl bread should look a little bit like this. Place the chocolate swirl bread or babka in a parchment lined pan. If you are in a rush, you can definitely just put the babka directly in a preheated oven for about 30 to 35 minutes, but if you prefer a fluffier babka, then cover it and let it rise again for about 30 to 45 minutes. While the babka is baking or rising, in a saucepan put vanilla, water, sugar, a bit of cinnamon, and for a bit of a kick you can also add a teaspoon of rose water, bring it to a boil and put it on the side. At around the 20 minutes mark, add about half of the syrup on the babkas while they are baking. 
Reserve the rest of the syrup for when the babka or the chocolate swirl bread will be completely baked. Once that the babka is fully baked, brush the rest of the syrup on it. Now here is Chesky's secret. Cover the chocolate swirl bread while still piping hot with a tea towel that will ensure that the moisture of the babka is trapped in the babka and it will make for a moist and delicious result. And voila, you will have the best, most delicious and easy babka or chocolate swirl bread. They can be frozen and enjoyed later as well. And if you like this kind of content all about simplifying the Jewish life, please consider subscribing. We do upload new content every week. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to from it up.